This is The Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Menke Control Magnetic Door Lock controlled by a combination fingerprint RFID control panel. This system, which sells as a set on Amazon for $170, was sent to me by Mark in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So Mark, thank you very much for the generous donation. I set everything up on this demo board, then wired it according to the manufacturer's instructions. There's a few different things here, so let me walk you through the various components. First, we have the magnetic lock itself, which according to the manufacturer can hold a door closed with 600 pounds of force. Then we have the lock controls. This will be on the external side of the door, and it can be activated in a few different ways. The first is by using a fingerprint. You can see it released the magnetic clamp. We can also use an RFID tag. And finally, we can input a numeric code. I'm going to use user number one with the set password of one, two, three, four. Okay, the next thing we have is the request to exit button. This goes on the inside of the door and unlocks it when someone wants to get out. And the last item on the board is the power supply and control module. Now all of this looks very impressive, but there's a pretty fundamental flaw with the setup that's actually very common on these standalone systems. Ideally, the device on the outside of the door should read the credential and then transmit it to the secure side of the door for verification. But that's not what's going on here. This device captures the credential, verifies it, and tells the door to open. Essentially what that means is that these wires are sending a no signal, and we need to change that into a yes. Unfortunately, all we need to do it is a paper clip and a screwdriver. Let me show you how that's done. There is one screw holding the cover plate on. As I'm taking it out, I should note that some devices like this will have an anti-tamper switch. However, this one does not, and even if it did, they tend to be fairly easy to bypass. So as I look on the inside, I can see four wires going into this, a red and black, which will be our power and ground. Then we have a blue and an orange. Those blue and orange are labeled on the circuit board as NO and COM. NO stands for normally open and COM is common. So normally the circuit between these two wires is open. To open the door, we just need to close that circuit, and I'm going to do it by bridging them with this paper clip. It's really just that easy. So, as you saw, despite the intimidating high-tech appearance, bypassing this is just as easy as opening a simple mechanical lock. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.